We explain the 1912 World Series. The 1912 World Series would see a matchup between Jake Stahl's Boston Red Sox and John McGraw's New York Giants. The Boston games would be played in a brand new Fenway Park. New York was bringing pitchers Rube Marquard, Matheson, and Jeff Tesro, who had combined for 66 wins on the season. Marquard had won 19 in a row to start the season, but Boston was bringing hitter Tris Speaker and pitcher Smokey Joe Wood, who had won 34 and pitched 10 shutouts during the season. The big story of the series was the dominating pitching of Smokey Joe Wood, who pitched three of the four wins. Matheson went cold during the series, losing two and having a possible victory taken from him game two due to the game going 11th inning and the sun going down with a 6-6 tie. It would be the first best of seven games to go into an eighth game due to the tie. Game eight saw lots of drama as the teams battled a 1-1 game into the ninth inning. Merkel scored in the top of the 10th inning, putting the Giants up 2-1. In the bottom, Giants catcher Fred Snodgrass dropped a lazy fly ball by Claude Engel, allowing Engel to reach second base. It is known as the $30,000 muff because even though Snodgrass made a spectacular catch getting out the next batter, Matheson would load the bases and a dropped sacrifice fly would give the Sox the win. The young Boston Red Sox were 2 for 2 in World Series appearances, and the aging Giants had suffered defeat twice in a row. The great Christy Matheson had been outpitched by Smokey Joe Wood, who claimed he'd pitched so hard he thought his arm was going to fall off. Matheson also lost to rookie pitcher Hugh Bedient. This series would be the highest attended until 1921. Hall of Famers would include Harry Hooper, Tris Speaker, John McGraw, Rube Marquard, and Christy Matheson.